Before you begin, unfold the white installation mat and lay it down on a clean floor. Make sure to assemble everything on top of the installation mat to avoid damaging the screen. To get started, you'll need to connect the inner frame segments using the horizontal and corner brackets. First, lay out the inner frame segments in a rectangular formation with the vertical segments running up and down. Place two horizontal segments on each side, pointed sides out. Next, remove any screws stored in the horizontal and corner brackets and set them aside for later. You're going to use them in just a minute to attach the brackets to the inner frame segments. Once you've finished removing the screws, use the horizontal brackets to connect the horizontal segments and use the corner brackets to connect the vertical segments to the horizontal segments. Once all the pieces are connected, attach the support beam where the horizontal inner frame segments connect. After you finish assembling the inner frame, shake it gently to check for screws that are too loose. Tighten them as needed. Next, we're going to unpack the Fresnel screen and stretch it onto the frame. Roll it onto the installation mat with the rear side facing up. Insert the fiberglass rods into the black sleeves along the edges of the screen. One rod comes pre-installed in one of the vertical sleeves so that the screen rolls out flat. Slide the stretcher bars over the fiberglass rods at the edges of the screen. Carefully place the inner frame on top of the Fresnel screen, making sure not to crease the screen in the process. Fold the stretcher bars over the inner frame, then insert a stretcher bolt through the inner frame and into the stretcher nut. For now, only tighten the stretcher bolts halfway, alternating sides after fastening each stretcher bar. Once all the stretcher bars are in place, incrementally tighten each stretcher bolt, again alternating sides after every few rotations so that the screen is tightened evenly from all sides. Now, we're going to assemble the outer frame and attach it to the inner frame. Use the outer frame key to connect the segments of the horizontal outer frame and use the corner protectors to connect the vertical outer frame to the horizontal outer frame. Now, fix the outer frame to the inner frame using the screws in the bag labeled G. Assembly complete. Mounting the Fresnel screen. Drill two 8mm pilot holes into the wall, then fix the wall mounting brackets onto the wall. Attach the screen to the wall mounting brackets. Please note the reference measurement applies to the UST projectors with a throw ratio of 0.233 by 1. If our motorized slider is used, the wall mount stands at approximately 56.96 inches above the desk. Without the slider, it is 54.60 inches. 